Hi everybody, Timmy Mix here and today I want to show you a very simple but effective quick tip how to change the look of your footage by just affecting a specific tonal region. This technique is quite simple, but it is often used to add a very subtle touch to an image that changes the overall appearance of the footage. You can think of it as a final adjustment to spice up your footage a bit more or to give it a subtle push in a more interesting direction. Anyway, you can use this simple technique on any stage on your color grading and you can call it as you want. I call it undertones and I use it often in my final adjustment note in my note tree. Just a few words in front of it. Please have in mind that there are other ways to achieve this effect in DaVinci Resolve, but I prefer doing it this way because with this technique I got the most control on it. So for me it's the more dynamically approach than doing it by using other techniques and it gives me more possibilities. But anyway, enough talking, let me quickly show you what I mean. As always, the first note is for color correction and balancing out the footage. Let's say this is done in this first note and let's further assume that we are happy with our result. The wanted undertone is very specifically to a wedge of image tonality, let's say for our upper shadows. All we have to do is to add another serial note, jumping to the qualifier and turn the U off because we want to address only the upper shadows. At the same time, we don't want to affect the lower shadows, or in other words, the blacks of our image, and therefore we adjust the luminance to somewhere in this area. By turning the highlight of our selection on, we can control this wanted area very exactly and we can slide our selection along the luminance slider. As long as we save the total lower shadows to stay clean, we have to adjust the saturation, decrease the lowest border by increasing the high of the saturation and bringing in some softness for a smooth transition. Something like this looks fine. If we are happy with our selection, let's address the primaries and moving the offset to the direction we want to add the undertone cast. In my case, for example, in the bluish direction. You can see in the vectorscope that we are bringing in more tonality in the lower parts of our image, or in other words, in the upper shadows. With this simple technique, you can influence the overall effect of your image. Simply turn this node on and off to see the effect. You will notice a very subtle change, but with this remarkable impact to your wall image without changing the wall grading of your footage, it's really pretty easy and the best is you can fine adjust it to your needs by just sliding your selection on the luminance ladder. Finally, it's up to you to play around with the selection and the color cast until you get the effect you are satisfied with. And that's it. For sure, you could add another node to affect another area in addition and selecting the lower lights if you want, for example, maybe to bringing in some more orange to a specially wedge of your lights. Let me show you quickly what I mean by adding another layer node and selecting quickly an area in the lower lights for upper or upper mids if you want so and just adjusting my selection a bit more and finally I push my offset to the orange to give it a bit more illumination in this region. Do you see what I mean if I turn my nodes on and off? Just feel free to play around and have fun with this little trick. And if you are interested in more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Thanks for watching and listening. As always, you are all a great time. Bye.